This is Mike from That Helpful Dad, and today we're going to talk about Google Alerts. Uh, I'm going to show you what they are and then actually how to set them up. Now, if you like this tip, I would encourage you to head over to my blog, which is thathelpfuldad.com. I've got lots of tips on practical solutions to real-life problems on the blog as well as on the YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's go get started. You know, a lot of people I talk to don't actually know about Google Alerts, and essentially what it is is instead of you always having to, you know, go on to Google and see, you know, kind of what's trending or what's happening, if there's a particular topic that you're interested in, you can come to Google alerts and Google will automatically send you an email whenever that topic is uh, is mentioned. So for example, I have some some particular uh, company stocks that I track and whenever they're mentioned in the news, I get an email about that. Uh, if you're tracking a certain celebrity or some other individual or something or really anything that you would normally Google, whenever it appears on Google, you get an alert about that. So the question is then how do you set it up? Well, you if you want to find it, again it's google.com slash alerts so we've got it up over here and uh, these are some you know common companies so let's say if you were interested in Amazon or one of these other ones right here I mean there's a whole bunch of them it's very easy to set the alert up you could just click on it and this is going to show you kind of what happens what's what an example of an email would look like um, and so you can kind of see what it would be. It's not rocket science right here. Obviously, if you're interested in something, then you would click on it, and then it would take you to that article. Uh, I've used alerts for a couple of years now, and they're, they're very, very effective. So what you need to do, obviously, is you would enter your email, and then we're going to take a look at the options. But let's say we don't want Amazon. Let's say we want something a little different. Keep in mind now, if you use something that's very popular, you're going to get a lot of alerts that you got to weed through. So let me just do SpaceX, although that's pretty popular. We don't necessarily have something probably every day, right? So you'd enter your email and then come over here and you look at the options. So if you want to get as soon as it happens, so like let's say you're you're interested in trading a stock, uh, you might want that as soon as it happens if there's some sort of breaking news. Otherwise, you might want to just choose once a day or once a week. I, I usually vary between once a day or once a week depending on how critical the item is for me. Let's say I want to know it. SpaceX, I probably would just do that once a week. Uh, if you want all sources or any specific sources or you want them just to be videos or some sort of like forum discussions, you can choose those here. Let's say I want to know just from the blogs, right? Uh, looks like there's not much coming from blogs, so let's choose... Nope, nothing on finance. How about video? That would be kind of cool. Yeah, there is some video there, so let's choose, let's choose those options there. And I want them in English, uh, although there are other options if you want that. Uh, the region where you want it to come from. If you want to really filter down and drill down, you could do that. And then do you want all results or only the best results? So you choose those filters, you create the alert, you go on from there. I'm telling you this works fantastic. Uh, if you ever decide you don't want it, then you could actually, when you're signed in, you could come in and you can delete that alert as well too. So it's really easy to do. Again, Google Alerts. I highly recommend it if you're tracking a particular subject. And again, if you want more tips like this, head over to thathelpfuldad.com. When you go over today, I'm actually giving away a couple different eBooks and like cheat sheets, and you can have them for free just for following me. So thanks for your time and you have a great day.